Hello, welcome back to another video. I hope you can hear me over the wind. It's really bad, but I wasn't really sure. I literally just turned the camera off and looked down and found this massive piece. So away from the car park. Um, there are some pieces of glass that are like very much steel glass and not sea glass so yeah some really cool rocks and stuff. I'm trying to just collect sea glass today unless we see something that is super super cool and I want to take it. I'm going to carry on down the beach a bit see if I can spot anything brown it's almost like a jelly bean <laughs> so lovely there's a bit of green here as well it's absolutely stunning this color i think it's like a newer type of glass though because it's so bright down here we've got a little clear piece see there's these pieces here but it's just not cooked enough pieces but I had heard that it was a good beach for sea glass and so far it is proving to be correct. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet I just know that some of it is probably gonna go onto my Etsy shop but I'm not sure whether it will be is that I've not done anything to so that you can use in your own crafts or whether I'm going to make something out of it and then put them up as jewellery and stuff but we shall see what's here and for now but yeah still some of that is channel um, I have a video up of Puffin Island so if you wanted to see that you can go check that out um, that's linked down below it's M&M Animal Adventures so yeah you can check that out we have a couple of videos there that's also for uh, we do a lot of zoo photography uh, me and Michael so yeah that's all over on that channel oh is this a bit of pottery it is, and it's got a bit of blue on it. Yeah. 
I love finding bits of pottery with the blood on it. So cute. But yeah, all my links are down below in the description box. Um, yeah, it's quite kind of busy down there. I have a lot of links, but if you are uh, looking for something specific, they're all down there. So. Um, haven't been very well and I was starting to get a bit frustrated because I'm back at work tomorrow and I was just like I want to do something so I went over to the beach because yesterday as well it absolutely hammered it down all day it just wouldn't stop raining so at least today there is something like I couldn't focus on it and I've been really enjoying it so the fact that I couldn't just sit there and focus on it I was like I need to go and burn some energy let's go for a walk so here we are taking you along on my sea glass adventure just to see what we can find really oh I just want to pick up all the pebbles so against your teeth to see if it's glass but yeah it's a really nice purple colour over here I've just spotted another piece of brown I bought from the range. I think I'm gonna fill some of them and make some little key rings. That'd be super cute. Um, I just spotted something. This here. I don't know if you guys know. This is a worm cast. I'm not going to keep it. I think they're a bit gross, but they're also very cool. So whatever floats your boat, really. Nice bit of green, but it's not quite cooked enough for me. I thought that was a bit of red sea glass, but it was just a bit of shell. is one that does a uh
There's another bit of brown down here as well. Yeah, I have been collecting some stuff, um, just being like considerate of filming and stuff because of there are some dog walkers and just other people using the beach. So now that it's gone a bit quiet, I can show you some of these little bits around here. Some of them are like freshly broken. There's a bit of bottleneck there, but I won't take it because it's not good. coming onto like boulders and stuff so I don't know I've been here nearly 45 minutes already so I don't know how much longer I'll stay I might uh, head off after about an hour just I do have other things I need to do I just can't focus on them this makes me feel better I mean, I'm glad that I came and I'm glad that I was able to film a video because I feel like I just channel a bit sometimes and I really don't mean to. Ooh look, it's the tiniest piece ever but it's blue <laughs> and there was another bit somewhere over here but I've lost it now. bad and then I start filming and then it's really bad so maybe the wind just doesn't like me. each other just down here so that's really cool Ooh, look at that, What's that bit? no it's not cooked enough been from the same plate though, just the pattern might have been on the outside. Very cool. That seems to be like my word of the day. It's very cool.
nice frosted bit, no, not really. Still got sharp edges. I don't mind if they're a different colour and they have sharp edges, because sometimes I take like the obscure colours because I've not found them before. But when it's clear, I just feel like it should have those nice rounded edges that you'd expect. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to find one. It would be cool though. I've never found a sea glass marble before. I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> Not at work. Just leisurely walking around. I don't need to put on my boots. I decided to have a hissy fit and not focus on anything. I do apologise, I will show you everything I find at the end. Frosted even and it's smooth. I just can't. I missed it. I just have to take 
Pottery that is actually blue pottery. That's a nice surprise. Jackdaws are chasing each other. Oh. Well, let's keep going. Because I don't really have a permanent So I, I can't really have all my craft stuff there where I want it. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll look into making like proper jewellery. But for now a bit chunky chunky sea glass and it's kind of got a conway on it i'll take that one instead take that one as a reminder i can always uh as i said earlier bring it back or recycle it either one of those right do you think you have too much 
that people find like I saw the other day someone found like a purple one or something heart attack but I think that the sea glass gods have blessed me look at that it's a cod marble oh my god if you could see my face I need to do that dual screen thingy oh my gosh I am grinning ear to ear you don't even understand look, look how pretty it is I can't stop looking at it. I just can't. I can't stop rolling it. I can't stop looking at it. I'm like over the moon. There's another bit of green here, but it's not cooked enough. But look at that. Look at that. It's so frosty and it's so cute. And oh, it's just perfect. Oh, I better put it in my bag, but I don't want to not hold it. Okay. And this piece of green as well. I'll put them both in my bag so that I don't lose them. Let's see what else we can find down this end of the beach. Another bit of clear glass. Some proper chunky bits down this end. It's very nice. A bit of green. Oh, I'm actually so like giddy over that. Oh, I thought of the sea glass bubbles. So excited! There's some really nice colours as well here. Like, not that I didn't think there would be, because everyone's like, it's amazing to see glass, but there's just so much more here than I thought there would be. Obviously, some of it's still like cooking and whatever, but it's nice. It's nice, and it's so local. It's only like 10 minutes away from where I am. So, that 
didn't even focus. what it's called but it's like uh, painted on one side it's like clear glass come on please focus there we go it's like painted but clear it's cool I like it for like an hour and I've been here way over. I've been here like nearly an hour and a half now. The green bottleneck but I probably won't take that one. That one looks quite new. Ew that bit. That bit is chunky. So nice. Just white buttery. Officially heading back to the car now. Gonna keep having a look because as soon as you say I'm heading back to the car, you always find the best things. So I'm gonna keep my eyes on the floor, have a little wander back, and yeah, because I've been here for like an hour and a half now officially. So I'm gonna head back, look at all my finds, and see if it inspires me to make something because I feel like I haven't really made anything in a long time, so that'd be quite nice. If you did want to catch up with my craft channel, it's Mickey Moose Creations, all linked down below, and I will catch up with you um, once I'm back home, really, or if I find anything cool. I mean, that is this cool bottleneck. Don't know if we've seen that already. I don't think we have. It's a bit too shiny for me, but it is cool. But yeah, on the way back to the car. So, yeah, let's see if we find anything good. If not, I'll show you my finds at the end. Okay, so I'm back and I've got lots of different things to show you. So these are all my greens and they come in all different shades and all different colours. It's actually really interesting and cool to see. Some of them are like massive pieces. This is the bit that I took. I know it's all chipped, but it's the bit that I took that was from that uh, Conway bottle. Um, and then there's other pieces like this bit is just so chunky um and then we've got browns and ambers this bit you still can't see but is lavender this bit is gray then you've got clear you've got sea foam you've got like these other shades of blue and green the pottery uh the glorious marble that we found which is just absolutely amazing and I'm so happy with 
then we have this i think it's called flash glass a piece of purple glass and i checked and it is purple glass a piece of red glass a piece of pottery that i found a couple of shells and then the blue pieces that i found this one here is probably my favorite it's so dinky and cornflower but i love it this bit is from the uh, poison bottle it's got like a bit of the shape as well and this bit here is like part of the wording and then there's just a couple of others that i'll probably just pop in a bottle um and this bit here hides a special secret so i'm gonna uh, close the curtains and turn off the lights and we will have a look at that Okay, so sorry, it's gonna be fuzzy because it's all dark. But look at that! I believe that is uranium glass. None of the others glow, but that one, that one does, and that is pretty cool. So I'll leave you with the uranium glass, and all that's left to say is very big. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm hoping to get a few more videos up on this channel just now that I'm a bit more settled back into uh, well settled back in I've returned to North Wales now that I'm settled in where I am living hoping to get out a bit more see a bit more do a bit more but next week I am off to the Lake District so hoping to do lots of cool things and keep you updated uh remember all my links are in the description box below so if you want to check out Meggy Moose creations for any crafts i might be making um or m m animal adventures for any photography adventures we've been on then i would really really appreciate it if you love this stuff and you wanted to check it out that'd be great um if you like this video please like and subscribe for more content and i will see you in the next video Thanks a lot for coming along and I'll see you next time. Bye!